So here's a great way to practice piping. Um, I have a cake board, a piece of paper. I took a Sharpie marker and a ruler and drew some lines kind of close together, uh, maybe a little less than an inch, so maybe a half an inch or so. Uh, I left space in between, and then you could do your uh, piping in between those spaces or just create single lines and then do your piping and use these lines as a guide. So I will show you an example of what you could do here. And then um, that was just a scroll. I'm gonna do a shell border. And these are connected instead of doing them individually. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to change tips. So this is a uh, rose tip, also something that you, a tip that you could use to make um, ribbons. So I have the narrow side uh, going uh, up and then the wider side is down and I'm just going to go in between my lines in a uh, sort of a sweeping motion back and forth, working in between those lines for a ruffle. Using the same tip again, narrow side up, and I am just doing a little floral or leaf back and forth. A lot easier using lines, cover this with plastic wrap, scrape it off and do it again. Um, I would recommend using American buttercream all shortening powdered sugar, do not add any uh, lemon juice or vanilla extract because um, you're not going to eat this. It's just for practice. And then we will work on doing uh, the same type of technique using maybe a round cake board or you simply drawing a circle on a piece of paper and then following that guide so that it will help you to understand more how to uh, pipe a onto a border onto a round cake.